You know, when I was a kid, I used to fantasize about all the cool and clever tech that would one day be fitted to our car of the future. Well, here we are at Cody 2021, and Audi has finally delivered this. It's called the Virtual Mirror. It does away with that boring conventional glass and replaces it with cameras and screens. But the big question is, is it a genuine advance on a conventional mirror, or is it just expensive tech for the gadget hungry? Let's go find out. First point to establish is that these mirrors do have a practical advantage over a traditional design. Number one is that they're quieter. They cut through the air more cleanly. In an EV, low cabin noise counts for plenty and these really do help there. The second thing they do is lower the drag, only by a small amount, but enough, according to Audi, to give you potentially an extra six Ks per recharge. And in an EV, those extra six Ks could come very much in handy. So what about on the move? Well, the first thing is you have to retrain your brain where to look. Instantly, you go to look outside the car. Now you need to look down here at the door card. What you see, yeah, is a great view of the road behind. Beautiful high definition OLED screen. Works great from that point of view, but just does take a bit of acclimatizing. But in terms of the actual image that you see, yeah, it's actually a little bit smaller than a conventional mirror. Just doesn't quite give you that same field of view that a convex mirror does. So the one area that I remain a little unconvinced that the virtual mirrors are better than a conventional system is in tight, low speed parking maneuvers. I live in an apartment block and I've only got a few centimeters either side of my car from my neighbors. And I found in my time with this car, I just didn't quite have the view of the rear tire that I needed to make that parking move each evening. Found myself relying more on the sensors and the 360 degree camera. You know, I wish when I was that kid, someone had warned me that all this clever car of the future tech stuff was not gonna come cheap. The virtual mirrors can't be bought as a standalone option. They're actually bundled with a whole lot of other very cool, desirable stuff like 21 inch wheels, Bang & Olufsen audio, extended climate control for the princely sum of $9,700 if you buy the conventional SUV e-tron. So very cool, very clever tech, but probably priced out of the mainstream just for now. Thank you.